Hey guys, me from Toronto. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of a four part series. And now let me just introduce you to what I'm going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to be talking about AI, also known as artificial intelligence. I'm just going to be introducing you, also just setting the stage. And I'm going to be telling you what the parts are. The first part, as you can probably understand from this uh, introduction, is that it's just I'm going to be setting the stage that is just building up to the uh, two parts two, three, and four. So it's just the introduction. Then the second is uh, the application of AI in our daily lives. And the third is how can we be in harmony with AI? How humans and AI can work together in many fields. And then the fourth will be the conclusion where I'm going to be drawing out just tiny little points from all the four parts, combining them together and giving you the whole big picture. Now let's get right into the first part that is the introduction. That is going to be this video. And now AI is artificial intelligence. You will all know that. But the thing with AI is that there have been a lot of types of AI in the few years. But the one that uh, is the most popular and the most powerful is deep learning. So now what deep learning does, it, it combines many images. And it, it combines data and it uses the algorithm, which is uh, just instructions and logic that humans have put into it. It, and it takes the data in. For example, let's say uh, uh, it show. Let's say humans they put the data in. For example, um, a crowded street, cars going, many many pictures, and a lot of data and a lot of videos together. Then deep learning learns this is how to drive, and it learns to drive a car. That's all you have to do. And the logic is the one that is made by humans, but it makes it out. And another uh, good thing about it is, for example, if you, you can just type in letters what you are imagining and it will give you a picture perfect replica of what you typed in because that is deep learning. It learns from data. It learns from mistakes and as well as success. Uh, it learns from the success of human beings and other uh, ro robots as well. It learns from others their successes and their failures and it knows what to do. Then it uses that and using the logic that we have given it, puts it to use. That's the great thing about AI. It's almost as complicated as the human brain. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about human brains, check out uh, uh, one of the videos I made about how our brains store memory and uh, yeah back right back into the topic and uh, it's uh, you so I talked about how our brains store memory in that video and uh, it's incredibly complicated and here it, the storing memory thing is not so complicated but the thing that is also complicated is how we processes them I've always been intrigued by robots since I was a child and you know, it never struck me that once in just like 10 years, not, I mean just in like 5 years, when I was 5 years old, that this was transformed into such a great phenomenon. And now, uh, we, and many people are scared that it will replace human jobs. And let me tell you guys one thing. I will cover more about this in how can we live in harmony with robots in that in part three that is but now let me talk about just wh why are people being scared that will replace jobs and how we solve that problem i'll get very much deeper into it into the uh, in other parts now creative jobs such as being a ceo or being an artist or being a singer or a dancer or anything of the creative arts right that cannot be done by robots robots may have logic may have reasoning may have intelligence but something that they can't replace is creativity and they don't have feelings as well so to socialize you're gonna need human beings or it's gonna push you to the brink of sanity and it's it's gonna take you away from the routine jobs like truck drivers, drivers, chauffeurs, and chefs. It's gonna take us away from that. 
That does not require love, creativity, patience, and care. Robots will never and can never replace love and creativity, and all of that cannot be done by robots because they don't have life. We have life. Artificial life is not the same as real life, as you know. So it will replace probably all the routine jobs. But as these jobs are decreasing, the demand for creative jobs will increase. Who will be a teacher? Who will be an artist? Who will be a uh, who will work in daycare? They even robots can become surgeons. Let's face the truth. But they can never give care. And they can't give you that warmth that humans they need warmth, but robots can't give that, and AI just can't give that. But AI is so fascinating, and now AI is being used to drive cars. It's used uh, even to now uh, scientists are trying to develop a, a AI that hears better than the human ear. So. And this study was conducted with uh, about 200 or 300 human beings and they played some audios and they heard, they heard that and they were told to identify what this was, what the sound was. 92% of the times they got it right, which is very good. 92% of the times is great. But the robot, the AI, the algorithm got it 95 and a half a percent times correct but we have to always learn that who will create the robots without us so we are always the masters and uh, Elon Musk who is the owner of SpaceX which is a great great big uh, technological conglomerate he is very scared that AI will take over the world he is scared of it and we always have to have a leash on our dogs. We have to have a leash on our creations. AI probably doesn't have free will. It doesn't have that choice making, the decision making skills. But many are scared it will rule over us. But the thing I say, it's like we, have, we create the robots. We should never let it get out of control. If we let robots get out of our control, it's a mistake. It's a big mistake. We have to keep robots under our watch. Uh, artificial intelligence, that is. It's learning. It's, it keeps on learning. This is real evolution. I mean, the evolution that Darwin theorized, it's not real, right? It's just a myth. But this, it learns from its surroundings and it will, at one point, it will match our intelligence. That's the thing that many people are scared about. There's a fierce debate going on about it. And we will cover a lot about uh, all this stuff later in part two and three and four. But, you know, it's really scary how big it's getting, but it's also really exciting at the same time. Not only does it open doors for great opportunities, it also closes doors to other stuff. It, it, uh, it reduces jobs in one sector, but increases jobs in another sector. It's like you lose one and you take two. But... People are scared about losing that only one thing. So, and now this is the basics of AI and uh, without too much of the scientific stuff, which I'll get into in the later part. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and look out for part two, three, and four. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.